Welcome to Draw Fee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Julia. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. And I'm Karina. Everybody's talking about that giant woman. Giant woman. Giant woman. Not that giant woman, but the giant vampire lady with Wolverine-esque fingers from Resident Evil 8. I don't know how they say the 8. I'm making an assumption here. Yeah, they probably just whisper it like that. Yeah, well, because Resident Evil 8's all like vampires or whatever, right? Yeah, vampires whisper. I can't wait to be stuck between a giant woman and a hot goth. (laughs) Please chase me around this beautiful mansion. (laughs) Anyway, today we're doing Resident (laughs) Evil enemies. Yay! Yay! I have picked, uh, I know we've done this uh, twice before, but we're doing it again. We're doing it again. You know, Resident Evil, they come out with new games. We can, we can come out with new episodes. That's the, it's Resident Evil again. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Nathan's going up first. I, I picked an enemy for you to draw. I'm very excited for you to draw it. I would like you to draw Bandersnatch. Bandersnatch? The Choose Your Own Adventure on Netflix? (laughs) Yes. The Choose Your Own Adventure on Netflix. Wow. And it's also not uh, Benedict Bandersnatch. (laughs) Benedict Bandersnatch. Bandersnatch. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it could be him. You don't know. Um, All right. Bandersnatch. Bandersnatch. That's a that's a reference to the the Jabberwocky poem. Yes, it is. It is a reference to the Jabberwocky story. Good thinking, Nathan. Can I get any information about this? I'm just gonna. I mean, I feel like it's it's a Resident Evil monster, so it's got to have a mouth. Yeah, you'd be right about that. So I'm just gonna start with a with sort of a gaping mouth, and then this kind of looks like a crocodile's mouth. So far, and I'm into that. It might, you know, it might be. It could be a crocodile. So, um, Bandersnatch, I believe, first appeared in uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica. Okay. Bandersnatches, because there's multiple Bandersnatch, uh, are a powerful one-armed enemy. Okay. One arm. One strong arm. One one arm, one mouth. Can't lose. Can't lose. They were a more affordable version of the Tyrant class. In Resident Evil. Affordable? Yep. Did they have to pay the enemies to be in the game? (laughs) (laughs) You have to pay for those assets, you know? (laughs) We can't afford both arms anymore. We're running low on budget. No, when they were being developed, they were a more affordable version of the tyrants. Oh. Yes. But they were flawed in the process because of, uh, you know, just that that cut, you know, the funding cut. You know, as is what happens in in companies. They cut the monster budget. They cut the monster budgets. The CEOs don't understand what's going on down on, on ground level. They don't understand where the budget needs to really be going. They put it all in marketing. They should have been putting it in the monster budget. They, could, they should have been putting it in arms for the monsters. It's only got one arm. It's only got one arm. Uh, parts of it. Because of the budget cuts, um, the anatomy tended to to atrophy. Not that arm, though. Not that arm. It's got it's got a pretty. Is it is it a pretty beefy arm? It's a you know it's a pretty beefy arm. Okay, we're gonna okay we gotta we gotta do some some scaling here. I've just sort of drawn like a meat slug. Yeah, it's really gross. Yeah, I mean, here's a line that will really just give you a lot of info. The remaining appendages were increased in mass and size to become as thick and resilient as their torsos. As their tor- is it? <laughs> ju- wait, does it not have any legs? Is it just an arm? Well, you gotta figure that out for yourself. All right, I, I like that. All we know is that whatever limbs it does have are as thick as its torso. It's a, it's a thick arm, a yeah. real thick arm. Okay, okay. The I wiki just- also mentions that they are stretchy. It's Stretch Armstrong. It's a Stretch Armstrong. Yeah. Julia, is it a Stretch Armstrong? Uh, that will be revealed in time. Do you, do you ever have one of those? I didn't. I had one of those. They were so hard to stretch. A child, a normal child could not have any hope of stretching it. The one time I played with a Stretch Armstrong, weirdly enough, was at the old office because Tony bought one to tape 
to a spinning board. I remember that, yeah. Yeah. Stretch Armstrongs feel really weird to touch. Yeah, they're super weird. It's it's bad to touch. Wait, so what is this? What is this? Nathan, I'm I'm talking to you. What is this? It's I mean it's 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 just got the arm, right? It's a it's a arm and sort of like a it's like a stretchy worm thing. I don't know. I'm I'm making it up. I'm I'm just like imagining what uh, a Resident Evil monster might look like that has one arm and stretchy bits because that's all I've got to go off of. Yeah. I mean, I think you're not. Th- this can't be wrong. <laughs> it can't be. It can't be. I think you've nailed the aesthetic. I will say mm-hmm. that a defining feature of the Bandersnatch that I'm looking at is that they're very veiny. Veiny. Okay, great. I can add veins. That was a good vein you just added there. Thank you. I really feel it. I feel the pump. It's been working out. It's again, it's it's an arm that's torso like. This feels like a warning about usage of steroids. Like this is hanging out up in the gym. Like this is you. This, this could is be you, you after steroids. Your one arm will get so huge and everything else will disappear. Is this what you want? Is this what you is this how you want to get Swole, swole has consequences. You gotta earn the swole. Can't take shortcuts. You can't inject the swole. This does look like like a tapeworm. Are those the ones that have the little mouths at the end? It looks like any number of horrible worm yeah. I've seen. Can I get some? Like, what? What? What are some of its uh, like attacks? Maybe their preferred method of attack is to strike from afar, pinning their victims against a wall and crushing their skulls. So I guess it just flails out its its giant arm or whatever and squishes you against a wall. How does it? And go squish. Julia, does it have leg or is it just arm? I mean, I'm going to be giving a lot away here, but it do have leg. It it has one leg. Well, it has it has leg or legs? I don't want to. I don't want to give you the whole thing here. All right, all right. Well, I feel like this is a decision you got to make. Okay, it needs something with which to like support itself while it's it's pushing you up against the wall, I guess. Oh, look at this little look at this little dainty <laughs> leg. I love this. <laughs> One dainty little stepper. Little toesies. Hell yeah. yeah. This is I've upset myself. I've upset myself with this. Yeah. Welcome to Resident Evil. I will say I have one non gross enemy. That I am giving in this episode. One non gro uh, well, is it the giant woman? Because she's perfect. The giant woman is perfect. Everybody already knows what the giant woman looks like. Yeah. We she's, can't forget. She's a fashionable giant woman. Can we put her in the thumbnail? Well, we've mentioned her. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna give it like one of these sorts of eyes. We put in her and we put in one of the Among Us guys. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Giant woman looking sus. <laughs> <laughs> and we put in Markiplier. What are they going to do? I mean, unless there's there's something big I'm missing. Like I'm I'm feeling pretty good about this. I don't I don't know. I don't know what else to add. Hell yeah, my dude. It's looking good. It's really scary. Yeah. So that seems right. Let me all just add some like some some slobber bits. Add some slobber bits. Why not? I feel like Resident Evil monsters are oftentimes wet. Yeah, they don't account for the wetness quotient when they're designing them. The yeah. scientists. Yeah. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is him. It's perfect. Here it is. All right, I'm going to send it to y'all. That's our bander bud. And uh, oh. See, you weren't you Aww. weren't super far off, right? Oh. <laughs> He's just got one jacked shoulder, really. He's like a guy. He's a guy. This, I mean, it feels like like if it was an Animorphs book. If my thing was one end, this would be like one of the middle transformation. Before yeah. it became a big, beautiful man. Yeah. <laughs> On the other end. On the other end. And you know, the, again, this is, the, this is what happens. Doping. Cautionary <laughs> tale. Happen. Not even once. <laughs> Don't even do it. Don't even try it one time. All right. It's Karina turn. Okay. Karina turn. Okay. Karina, yes. are you ready? Yes. Karina, for you, you get the special treat of the non-gross enemy. Aw. I picked this entirely by name. Uh-huh. I saw it and I thought I must give Karina. This enemy is simply named 
honk. Okay. <laughs> All right. You got to draw honk. I know honk. Uh, Another victim of excess doping. <laughs> so honk is an enemy that appears in Resident Evil 2. Uh-huh. Wow, this wiki is very long. <laughs> I should... <laughs> Is there a lot of hunk lore? There's a lot of hunk lore. So hunk. Uh-huh. Hunk is the name of a character, but also hunks are operatives for the Umbrella Corporation. They're all hunks. They're all hunks, but there is one hunk. Uh-huh. A hunk not among all, hunks. Not all hunks are hunk, but all hunks. But hunk is a hunk. A hunk but is hunk a is hunk. hunk. <laughs> What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> the riddle of the hunk. Yeah, so um, hunk first appears in a flashback. He's, he's. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, that doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's so hard to skirt the line of being, of being vague and descriptive for hunk. Uh, but hunk, but hunk is an operative. So he, so he, he doesn't he doesn't turn into like any sort of gross guy. <laughs> he's just he's a dude I think who was sent to kind of just like deal with the situation. <laughs> so he is just a guy? He's like a he's a military guy. And his name is Hunk. His given name is Hunk. Yeah. His parents named him that. <laughs> <laughs> his parents named him all capital letters Hunk. <laughs> <laughs> he seems pretty he seems pretty useful i mean he, you know he obtained oh, yeah. uh -huh. he obtained the g vi he just seems like a guy who's good at his job whose name is hunk <laughs> i know you're worried about skirting the line between vague and descriptive but i feel like you've given me almost no description <laughs> <laughs> so sorry <laughs> Because all that's here is like he's a guy who has a job. <laughs> Skimble shakes. <laughs> yeah, you've described Skimble shakes. He's strong Skimble shanks. <laughs> okay, so it's a code name for an umbrella service security service operator. I thought that was his given name. <laughs> Julia, I'm so it's, confused. It's both. Cold, silent, and devoid of emotion. He what? is ruthless. Oh, he's not Skimble Shanks. He's not Skimble Shanks. He's, he's dark Skimble Shanks. <laughs> he's, he's dark timeline he's Skimble Shanks. He's McCavity all along. <laughs> McCavity doesn't have a job. Uh, yeah. His nickname is the Grim Reaper, but no one knows his real name. It's I Honk. thought Honk was his name, but it what? turns out people just called him Honk. <sighs> Uh, who's who? <laughs> so he he is who? called Hunk. His nickname is Grim Reaper. Julia, I don't know anything about Resident Evil, and I'm so confused. <laughs> he was sent to steal the G virus. <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what any of this means? It doesn't mean anything. I've I've never met. A cold, heartless hunk. He's he's a cold, heartless hunk who uh, was competent enough that he was sent on a secret mission to go steal this virus. Um, so he's like not, not a himbo. A himbo. <laughs> yeah, not a himbo. He's I'm like sorry, the I gave you not opposite. a himbo, man. Yeah. <laughs> I do like this line from the wiki that simply says, "Only hunk and Miguel survived Birkin's attack." It so, doesn't say anything, but I do that. like the idea of Hunk and Miguel's adventures. Hunk and Miguel are in love. Yeah. Hunk and Miguel are in love. I don't know who Miguel is, but we ship it. Yeah. They survive because of their love. Yeah. <laughs> I assume. <laughs> I wouldn't know any better. We could only, yeah, I mean, they're the only survivors, so it stands to reason that they survive because of their love. I'm going on nothing. I got. He's a soldier. He's a he's a grim reaper, not a himbo, not a himbo, not gross. Also, we've we've established. Is this just Overwatch reaper? <laughs> it sounds kind of like Overwatch reaper. Is this just you, Overwatch yeah. reaper? Yeah. Did they do did they do an Overwatch in Resident Evil? 
I think so. <laughs> hey, Resident <laughs> Evil, did you did you try and do an Overwatch? But named it Hunk. But named it Hunk, <laughs> so no one would suspect. <laughs> Straight to the point with that one. I mean, this says, Hunk is an extremely capable soldier, skilled with a number of weapons and able to deliver solid melee attacks. He also has a few blade weapons hidden on his person. I think he's Reaper Overwatch. Guys, it's Reaper Overwatch. It's just we Reaper Overwatch. Okay. <laughs> this is where you've been hiding. <laughs> you went in Resident Evil for a bit. <laughs> so weird. I will say that I don't think you ever see Hunk's face, but I do think that we should draw Hunk's face as you've okay, done. Okay, like so it he's better. Reaper Overwatch. <laughs> he's Reaper Overwatch. <laughs> I don't understand. You just keep describing Reaper Overwatch. Yeah. We thought we thought it was so. It turns out that Dark Skimble Shanks is just Reaper Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, is he a cat boy? He is now. I don't see why not. <laughs> we never now. see his face, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it could be cat boy. He's not a cat boy until you yeah. show me that face. <laughs> this is a challenge, Cat Capcom. I almost said Catcom. Cat Catcom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does say he is the anti-hero slash anti-villain in the Resident Evil games. Both cat He's boys both. can be anti-heroes. He's like Catwoman of Batman. <laughs> oh my god! So he is a cat boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh. hunk. God. He's hunk. He's a big, strong cat boy, I believe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this pose is. This pose you have of him looks like he's shaking his fist at me <laughs> to get off his lawn. I think he's just <laughs> shrugging. <laughs> he's like, I don't know. am I a cat like, boy? I, is this right? <laughs> is this right? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Do you know where I could find... The G virus or Miguel. <laughs> yeah. Miguel needs it. A fun aside for Hunk is that he's voiced by a guy who plays a character Hawk Moth in Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. Oh, that guy. Yes. He also voices I know that. I love cartoons. He, he also voices Cat Mask Seller in A Whisker Away. So maybe Interesting. there's a cat connection here. Wow. <laughs> Karina knew. I knew. Karina knew. <laughs> Karina, Karina just got the cat, cat boy senses. Yeah, that's what the movie The Sixth Sense is about. <laughs> <laughs> when you know someone's a cat boy, that's your yeah. sixth sense. <laughs> and then at the end, you find out Bruce Willis was a cat boy the whole time. Oh, spoilers! <laughs> His ears cat- pop out. Yeah, camera pans back to him. His ears pop up. <laughs> <laughs> just shows him in all those previous scenes where he's like actually been licking himself the whole yeah, time. Drinking yeah. milk out of a dish. <laughs> I don't remember what Reaper Overwatch looks Knocking like. glasses off shelves. He, like, he does have like the mustache, like Skimble Shanks. Yes. <laughs> Dark Skimble Shanks. Does our audience ever get tired of how often we collectively talk about yeah. Skimble Shanks? No, no, I think it's becoming like a bit now. Yeah. You, the more we lean into it, the funnier it is. They can't get tired of it. They better not. It yeah. doesn't matter how they feel about it because we're not <laughs> yeah. going to stop doing it. Left it left such a deep mark in my brain. You can suggest us a drawing, but you can't suggest <laughs> us not to talk about skin <laughs> bullshit. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, you can suggest that, I guess, but like it'll be a waste of your time. Yeah, yeah you'll you'll be wasting <laughs> your time and ours. We're just gonna ban you from the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Is what Reaper Overwatch looks like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with cat ears. That's who I'm drawing, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I give you Reaper Overwatch. <laughs> he cut holes in his hoodie <laughs> for his cat ears. Yeah, that's what you have to do when you're a cat boy. <laughs> Sacrifices must be made. <laughs> For Cat Boy. Um, I'm going to make the hood go over there so I don't have to do the thing where I think about where the other ear go. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. Hide it. <laughs> Art hacks. Yeah. This is correct. When you don't know if your Cat Boy has two ears, just <laughs> cover it so you don't have yeah. to address it. Don't answer the question. Yeah. yeah. I feel like most people who draw Cat Boys cover it with like long, beautiful hair. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's correct to do. That's correct to do. Don't answer that question. Leave that to the viewer. Dress it, don't address it. Yes. That's the... oh, yes, geez. exactly. I already gave him pants. <laughs> I 
just gonna you did already. Already. yeah tuck it in yeah tuck it in. you're ready you heathen <laughs> <laughs> it's called fashion this is so good oh, that would be so uncomfortable <laughs> If you tuck your hoodie in, comment down below telling us about how that works out for you. Yeah, I have to know. The little zipper bit is just pressed right up against the belt buckle, just jamming, oh. jamming against that section. Yeah. He's a soldier, so he can take it. Yeah. That's part of your training. It's just a hoodie. Uh, what is this? All right, recruits, today's the day where you have to sit with your hoodie tucked into your pants. Belt. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. It's too yeah, much. It separates the cat oh, boys okay. from the cat men. <laughs> uh, you said he has a bunch of blades hidden on his body. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, don't I found know. one. I don't know where they're going in this very body tight hoodie, but you know. <laughs> Some of they're them are there. better they're hidden than others. <laughs> You wouldn't dare point it out, or else he'll no. scratch your eyes out with his little claws. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me you <laughs> Imagine that you're running away from a horde of zombies, and you, you look up at the roof, and there's this guy. I think this is what this is what you wear when you have like stuff strapped to you. I think. Oh yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. It also just looks nice. It does. Look yeah, nice. It does. It just accentuates the form, his hunky yeah. form. Yeah, you know, 100%. his little cat boy body. It frames the pecs. Yeah. Like, here's where you're supposed to be looking. <laughs> it's a treat. <laughs> and, like, it's nice to just have little leather straps on him so he can, like, claw at them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know this blade also isn't hidden, but you know. You know. <laughs> well, he has he has the less hidden blades to make you think you know where all the blades are. Yeah, but yeah. there's more up his sleeves, literally. <laughs> it's like that thing about cockroaches people say where like if you see one, it means there's like 10 that you don't see. Same with these blades. Same same with blades on, on a hunk. Yeah, on a cat boy. <laughs> you do hear them all when he runs though. Yeah. Very loud. <laughs> It's just like, what's this weird bulge in your arm? That's not a muscle. Yes, it is. <laughs> Don't look at it. <laughs> Especially <laughs> exercised. <laughs> this I is love a, this. This is a weird drawing. <laughs> this is better than the actual hunk. Yeah, it's making me have fun. <laughs> I chose hunk on name alone, trusting that you would make something better than the actual hunk. I did. It's it's Reaper Overwatch, but a cat it's boy. Re <laughs> it's Reaper Overwatch if he knew what Spencer's at the mall was. <laughs> Those are his real ears, though, but sometimes yeah. you're not sure. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, that's such a cute hoodie, hunk. <laughs> hunk. <laughs> People think he's wearing those headphones that have the cat ears at the top. Yeah. They he does own one. those. <laughs> yeah. But... They don't fit correctly over his cat ears. He just thought they looked cute. Oh, this would be one of those things where, like, it has to go up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, on ears. so the cat ears would be, like, up here, and it just like, looks way up. silly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, um, Arthur conundrum of wearing headphones. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I don't know why they're all pretty small knives, but. For hiding. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You can't hide big knives. I like to imagine this guy's really, really swole, but he still looks <laughs> tiny next to the giant lady. <laughs> yeah. He's real cute next to her. <laughs> he's a he's a short king. <laughs> <laughs> we respect Hunk. In this house, we respect Hunk and his many hidden knives. I made him quite small on the canvas, but you you get the idea. Hell you get yeah. The, I, I yeah. I love it. More than get the idea. Okay, he's got his embroidered. Yeah, that that's what you you do, right? Yeah, that's and what you do. And people can't tell if it's his name or the brand of his hoodie. Yeah. Or a description. Yeah. Or a description. <laughs> it's all of the above. I need to put a bell somewhere. Oh, heck. I'll just put it right here. Hell yeah. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yes. 
just <laughs> bouncing off those abs. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you're in a dramatic moment. You're running away from a big baddie in Resident Evil, and then you hear the little cat bell, and you turn around, and there he is. There he is. (laughs) My man. Hunk. Hunk. (laughs) I like my design for Hunk. I I can't wait to be disappointed. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, I mean, get ready, because Hunk is not as good. There's no way the actual design is better than this. There's no way he's a cat boy. Is this him? This is him. That's just a guy. That's just a guy in a gas mask. It's just a guy. That's literally anyone. And he gets the name Hunk? Come on. Yeah. Where's his cat ears? He could be a hunk underneath. He could could have cat ears. Yeah, he could. (laughs) This is literally as accurate as any drawing of Hunk could be. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, it could be be the same guy. Yeah. He he decided he'd like this outfit. This is a different... Skin. Yeah. This is after he met you <laughs> yeah. and let you design his outfit. Yeah, you're welcome, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I love new hunk. I love hunk. New hunk rules. <laughs> Old hunk sucks. All right, Jacob, are you ready for your enemy? Give it to me. You will be drawing another character from Resident Evil Code Veronica called Ghost. <laughs> Feratu. I know that guy. Oh, it's that oh. guy. He's that guy. That's this guy. He's like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's kind of like a cat boy. He's kind of like a cat boy. Yeah. We have, it's all cat boys. All the way it's down. like this. Oops. <laughs> yeah. The uh, drawing done. Thanks for watching Draw for you, everyone. Ah. It's the drawing. Wow. <laughs> Coming to get you. It's Baby Yoda. He's it's angry. Baby Yoda. <laughs> when you have no fruit gummy. <laughs> <laughs> Give me fruit gum. Um, what am I doing though for real? <laughs> no, Sferatu. Yeah, tell me so that I don't just draw that again. Something about. All right. No, Sferatu <laughs> is a bald, pale, green humanoid creature. Yeah. So Baby Yoda. It's Baby Yoda. <laughs> yeah. You you had it right, Jacob. Wearing a leather mask with metallic clasps covering his bloody eye socket. Like Baby Yoda. Like Baby Yoda. Oh, <laughs> Baby Yoda had an accident. <laughs> Baby Yoda, are you okay? <laughs> the fans did not like that episode. <laughs> Where Baby Yoda got its eyes gouged out. Yeah, that's not a, a fan favorite. Yeah. They had to retcon that and make it a dream. Yeah, it was all a dream. So it's got like, just like eye holes, or the eye holes are covered, you said. Uh, Yeah, wearing a leather mask with metallic clasps covering his bloody eye sockets. Wow. Okay. So maybe the mask is just on the top part of the face. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a there's a there's a misplaced modifier thing happening in that sentence. Yeah. Is it is it a mask with metallic clasps and the mask is covering the bloody eye sockets? I guess it's up to you. Yeah. 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 I, I will you do my own that. You know Julia's not going to explain that. No. no. <laughs> I got to be vague. Julia woke up today and chose vagueness. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I absolutely did. Um, He's got anime. Um, am I drawing fucking Barry? Chopper or whatever. Barry, yeah. Barry from Full Metal. That's not what I was thinking of, but I was thinking of the Digimon that Karina always draw. Oh, Beelzemon. Beelzemon, yeah. my boyfriend. Yeah. Am I drawing Beelzemon <laughs> accidentally? No. I mean, if that's what you want. Kind of. This looks more like Skull Marimon. If it was like this. <laughs> 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 If it was like this. Uh, There's metal clasps. I'm going to put more metal clasps. Yeah, get those clasps. The mask is clasped onto the head. It's covering the eye sockets. Yeah, it's covering the eye sockets so that he's not embarrassed. Jacob, these are some good clasps. (laughs) Yeah. Thank you. Been working on my clasps lately. (laughs) Doing a lot of clasp studies. Yeah, doing a lot of clasp practice. Nice. Go in a class class. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Would you like more descriptors? I mean, I think I'm going to need some. Yeah, I'm adding studs so you know that it's leather. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There's, there's nice rivets in there. 
Uh, his movements are restricted by an article of clothing similar to a leather skirt reinforced with, you guessed it, metal clasps around his legs. <laughs> metal clasps. This is a le- leather and metal clasp, man. Yeah. It is just a Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you didn't give the Digimon to Karina. I like hunk. <laughs> Yeah, I love where Hunk landed. I love, I love my fan cast of Hunk. <laughs> OG Hunk is boring. <laughs> Karina's Hunk, vast improvement. Yes, I agree. I want a cat boy in Resident Evil, but they're too scared. Yeah, cowards. Put more cat boys in. Put more cat boys in. You got a giant woman. Yeah. This could be the game that's for everyone. Giant woman <laughs> and cat boys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come, Come on. on. Come on. Okay, I guess. Do you want, okay. So for the for the torso yeah, like area. What's, what's going on with the body? I'm kind of just drawing like a weird guy. His hands <laughs> are tied behind his back with. Clasps? <laughs> leather and metal bindings. Wow. <laughs> Cool. But he could still strike out with three appendages similar to spider legs. Okay. Oh. Cool. <laughs> sure, yeah. That that makes sense. Uh-huh. So it's like a straight jacket for the arms, but then the spider legs come out. They didn't think they didn't consider the spider legs. Yeah, they forgot to straight jacket those up. <laughs> it's like, well, we got the arms. That's probably good enough, right? No way, dude. Nice try. <laughs> I got more of them, suckers. Got kind of this. this guy just looks like a pensive old man walking down the road. <laughs> going to the store. Me going on my silly little walks <laughs> so that I don't get too depressed being inside all the time. <laughs> got clasps, you see. This is how my grandfather used to walk down the road, hands hands behind his back. Eyes covered. Eyes covered. <laughs> Clasps. So much leather. Everywhere. <laughs> I like this Naruto vest you've given him right now. Yeah, it's kind of a Naruto vibe going on. <laughs> yeah, this does look like a Naruto villain. Maybe it is. When your son go on too many adventure <laughs> and doesn't call home. Uh, we're going to tuck in the hoodie, of course. Yeah. It's just respectful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fashion. Fashion, as we've established. Leather skirt. Yeah, with uh, the the metal clasps. With the metal clasp, of course. I'm yeah. sorry. And, and the boots with the fur. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, kind of cute though. Kind of cute though. You you guys both drew some some fashionable characters. I just drew sort of a, a meat slug. Yeah, but I could have I could have fashioned him up. I did. I wasn't thinking about fashion. That's you know that's on me. I want the game where these two get together with the meat slug and give give it a makeover. Fashion montage for meat slug. <laughs> yes, please. And the giant Finally. woman is there. Yeah, if anybody uh wants to just play dress em up with my uh with my guy, <laughs> please please tweet at me. Dress up Nathan's meat slug, please. Queer eye for the undead guy. Exactly. <laughs> Where's that show? Uh, then we got spider arms. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. How many did you say? Three. Uh, enough. 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 Uh, Don't worry got, about he's it. He's got three. Three. Three is a weird number. Asymmetrical. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I will also say his body produces a gas that can, upon contact with oxygen, turn into a deadly fog. Sounds like me after I've had too much uh, beans, am I right? Wow, like fart. Fart. Like fart. I made a fart joke. Nathan's talking about fart. I'm talking about fart. I didn't see it coming. (laughs) (laughs) We're all about unexpected jokes here on Drop (laughs) It's new and exciting. I like this little side note that they added to this character or for this character that just says, Nosferatu's weak point is his heart. (laughs) He's a water sign like me. (laughs) He attack with fart, his weakness is heart. (laughs) 
please be kind to Nosferatu if you see him walking around. We're just going to put gas everywhere, yeah. That stink gas. Yeah, I made this really anime. I will say that, Yeah. you know, I mean, <laughs> it's too late to add this now, but much like, as Karina said, a water sign, uh, his heart is exposed. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to do like a patch. Okay. Oh, <laughs> cute. Sort of symbolic. Oh, what an emo darling. <laughs> <laughs> Your designs were both so cute. Dang. Oh, I love both of these characters so much. Hunk and Nosferatu. Yeah, I, did, I didn't know we were doing cute Resident Evil. I wanted to have a little beard. Oh. <laughs> Just feels right. This, this, yeah. This is cute. I guess no, I guess that makes sense because they like that's the aesthetic of the new game, is just like everyone's kind of hot. Yeah. <laughs> Hades has changed the face of gaming. Yeah. And now everyone yeah. has to be hot. Game devs have figured out that all we care about <laughs> is hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. You guys ready to see Nosferatu? Yes. All right. Aww. Oh. He looks very much like a Silent Hill. There's not as many clasps as I would have expected. Spider legs are not where I expect them to be. Yeah. Yeah. And also not very spidery. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty good, but mine is better. Yeah. But yours is cute. Yeah, yours is yours is cute. <laughs> Make Resident Evil cute. Yeah. Um, I do like that on the wiki it says Nosferatu's hobby is roaring with rage and agony. <laughs> that's a nice, that's a nice pun aside. <laughs> Relatable. Wow. This really is <laughs> These are some relatable characters, you know? <laughs> That's, I love that. What a treat. What a treat. Um, th hey, if you have an episode suggestion, write it in the comments below. Also, if you like this and you want to support us, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit that bell. Also, we have a Patreon where because of patrons, we get to keep making this channel. So uh, if you can and you want to support us, go over there. Yeah, and you get you get your name up. Your name your name could be scrolling by right now as Whoa, we speak. There it is. Uh, and also, we Twitch stream on Monday night at seven p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. Tune in for that. It's like this, but longer and unedited. Yep. I'm gonna go look at pictures of the giant woman now. I got go. Yeah. I yeah. Think. Same. <laughs> I, I have a. I have that penciled in. For, for yeah, now, my so. giant woman looking appointment. <laughs> yeah, it's giant Can't woman time. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're sorry. 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 Sorry.